Oh. Oh my God. Snapped all the bolts straight off the chassis <laughs> and the vehicle did not move an inch. This guy has gone and put a 60 series nose cone on a 100 series Land Cruiser. He's taken it off road. He's never done any four wheel driving. I can't believe he's sticking that strap to that point there on the vehicle. Something's got to break. Yeah. What is, what is it? His name is PewDiePie. Um, that's... How do you spell that? G'day guys, Simon Christie from 4 Drive TV down here at the bottom of the world in Australia. Now I've had a little bit to do with 4 driving over the years, 18 years I've been producing TV. I won't tell you how old I am. I've been traveling around the world, finding the best 4 drive spots, living the best adventures and having a stack of fun off road. Now, I've heard about this guy, PewDiePie. Now I've never actually watched any of his stuff, but I've been told he is huge on the internet. He went four wheel driving and I'm gonna check it out. So let's have a look. Apparently he's in Japan. Looks like he's having a good time. All right, these guys have got some very interesting vehicles. This thing looks like the front end of a 60 series with the back end of a 100 series Land Cruiser. Japan's the place to be for Toyota. That's the home of off-roading for especially us guys in Australia, the big Toyotas. But this thing, it looks a little different. This is my car. It's a Toyota 100 that's been remade to look like an FJ60. All right, so a Toyota 100 that's made to look like an FJ60. Interesting concept. Funny to see that vehicle looking at it from that angle there. It actually looks a little bit like a GQ Patrol, which is another very popular vehicle down here in Australia. So really interesting. In Australia, the Toyota Land Cruiser is an absolute legend. It built the Snowy River power system, it got farmers up out in their farms and working, and it was one of the most popular recreational vehicles that we had to get out and explore here in Australia, all the way through the 40 series Land Cruisers, the 55s, the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, the 100s, the 200s, and now the 300. But people like the newer style and comfort but the older look is still absolutely classic. So what this guy's gone and done is he's taken a beautiful looking 60 series nose and whacked it onto a more luxurious and comfortable 100 series Land Cruiser. So it's a really interesting combination. Spoilers, it didn't go so great. Oh no! no. I'm not surprised guys, if you've never been off-roading before, there's extra gear sticks, there's a whole range of things you've got to know about four-wheel driving. And if he's stuck, this will be a bit of fun. It actually went amazing. We got a two hour drive ahead of us, so let's go. Now I'd be actually keen to know which way they're going. Two hours out of Tokyo, because down south near Nara, my mate has a thousand <laughs> acres. Nazumi Tsuda, look him up online, which is just the absolute bomb when it comes to Japanese four wheel driving. A thousand acres turned into an off-road four wheel drive park it's a phenomenal park and they're mostly focused on rock crawling. I was flown out there one year to actually compete and we had players come in from all around the world. An immense adventure, great opportunity to be there and a stack of fun off-road, it is nuts. Meet the stars who make. And we've got an ad. Star. <laughs> like little kids playing with their toy cars. <laughs> Let's go slower. <laughs> Sorry. Go faster, go faster. Oh yeah, you gotta go. So it does get fun when you go faster, but you do make a risk of breaking a few things. A little bit of bumps and thumps here are normal for off-roading because you're traveling over bigger obstacles. I would have liked to have seen him have a crack at it on his own, but he's following another vehicle. So there is a vehicle setting the pace and setting the lines of where to go. It's always fun watching guys who aren't four-wheel drivers tackle things with no experience and no guidance. Oh. Yeah, definitely go slow. Yeah, Gotta be as gentle as possible. Slow. Slow. <laughs> slow. Oh, oh, oh. That's literally a fucking theme park ride. Oh, oh. All right, the boys are having a great time. That's awesome. But it'd be really nice to see what they think of doing some real rocks, some real hills, some real river crossings and getting to some spots where they can see some real sunsets, some great views, a waterfall, not at a full drive park, testing a vehicle on some controlled obstacles. He yeah. said later we'll do more Still fun there. though. <laughs> I thought that was the advanced side. <laughs> so you've got a guy who's obviously experienced up the front in a stock 60 series Land Cruiser. Now the 60s came out with leaf springs front and rear. So it's a stiff, horrible ride for the most part. 
And Mr. PewDiePie, he's running a 100 series that looks like a 60, but it's actually a 100. So he's got coils all around, which is a lot more comfortable. So they're bashing and banging around and struggling when Mr. 60 series up the front is cruising nice and comfortably, taking it nice and easy. So it goes to show the difference in experience. But you know what, at the end of the day, they're having fun. So that's a big positive for the four wheel drive scene. We of course took turns, everyone got to try. Not a chance. It's way scary in the back. Woo, no ah, chance! You what? motherfucker! <laughs> God damn no, it! Right, right, it. turn right. So on the V-Grow obstacle, it's really difficult to not hit your back bumper on the way out. I hit it, but it's my car, so it's okay. But Kevin, I'll never forgive this. I need to concentrate. Oh, he oh, got no. it! He got it! He got it! <laughs> Kevin, he got it! <laughs> you just so I was about to say it looks like they're learning and getting better, but old Kevin's just whacked the rear end off the old hungy. It's just a little loose. Next up, we got to ride with one of the professional drivers, and oh boy, that was wild. <laughs> so this would be cool to see. Let's go. Had to be a killjoy, but he's not much of an instructor if he's not wearing his seatbelt. That's a big no-no. <laughs> After that horrifying experience, we took one more lap and we saw this mud pile. Keep going, keep going, keep right, 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 uh, right. This right, one right, right here? Right, yeah. Wait, no. We got the thumbs up to go through it. <laughs> we got the thumbs up. I'm struggling to see the this big mud puddle. It's like uh, not even ankle deep. No. <laughs> oh no! And they're stuck. Oh no! Oh, this is actually fucked. Wait, this is a picture moment. So you really wonder how much instruction these guys are getting. Like, what are they being told of how to drive these obstacles? And it's not so much a good reflection of the four-wheel drive scene if they're not being told how to do it properly. But then part of learning is having a crack yourself and they're definitely having having a go. And it's a pretty common thing when you see a hill, a series of rocks, a mud hole. Hey, look, that looks like fun. And it's one of the best ways that four-wheel drivers get themselves into trouble. But you know what? When I talk about getting yourself into trouble, that's what four-wheel driving is partly about. It's about solving problems. So being equipped, having the experience and the knowledge to push your vehicle and yourself to the limits means that sometimes you're gonna get stuck and you've got to know how to recover yourself. So let's see how these boys get out of this one. So it was just a tiny little mud hole, but they've been in there for a little while now. They've obviously been spinning the tires. They've dug themselves in pretty deep. So it's a fairly decent recovery now because safety is really important with recoveries. It's a huge amount of dangerous energy. Now there's a few ways if you're in this situation of how you can get out of it. Now, as I said, four-wheel drives will be prepared. They'll be carrying a lot of equipment. Part of that is front and rear bar work, steel bars. They'll have recovery points on them. And those recovery points allow you to get yourselves in and out of these situations, but also to get other people out. You can winch yourself out of this, but these guys have got very limited accessories. They've got mud tires on, which is a good start. And I don't know how much recovery gear they've got. So you really wanna be using a kinetic rope or a snatch strap to get yourself out of a situation like this. Not something that's stiff like a chain or doesn't have any give in it. Now a kinetic or a snatch recovery doesn't have to be a huge amount of energy but that kinetic rope has the stretch in it, the snatch strap has the stretch in it to absorb a little bit of the jerk between the two vehicles and actually assist in getting you out in a far safer manner. But I'm a little bit concerned about what these guys are gonna do next. So straight up, the vehicle in front is spinning the front wheels. I can't see if the rear axles are, are working, but I'm sure the rear right must be spinning. He's in four-wheel drive. They haven't engaged any diff locks. Some of the hundreds did have a factory rear diff lock. So I'm not sure what's happening there, but I don't think they've let their tires down, which improves the traction a lot. And they've given themselves no room to run up. It's a dead pull off what looks like a stiff rope or chain, which is a big no-no. That could end in disaster. Oh my God. <laughs> oh! And like I said before, you are supposed to have front and rear bar work, which comes with front and rear recovery points. 
and they've attached the strap with no stretch to the bumper of the bogged vehicle and they've just ripped the bumper clean off the front of the other vehicle. Oh no! Oh no! Yet and everyone's laughing, everyone's having fun. It's a, it's a great way to learn, but seriously guys, that bumper becomes a missile and that is dangerous and people standing around filming, photographing, laughing and looking. And that is something that I've spent the last 18 years of my life trying to educate people against not to do. So PewDiePie, I think you owe everybody a little bit of a video about safe recoveries. I'll help you out, buddy. The... Oh, no. oh my God. Oh my God. At least the driver's got his seatbelt on. Clean, sheared the bumper. Oh, that's what it's for. Snapped all the bolts straight off the chassis. Four. We need to ruin three cars. And the vehicle did not right, move an we inch. We have one other option, I guess. Yeah, the next option is Good rip job. the rear keep bumper going. off. Yeah, keep going. No one's let their tyres down. They've got the same short, stiff strap. Not sure what they've got it connected to. We kept trying so many times. And you can see the jerk there in both vehicles. That's just damaging to the drive line, to the recovery points, the whole lot. And that's the difference that a kinetic rope or a snatch strap will do with having that stretchability to take up that, that jerk, eliminate I doing. it. I honestly didn't think we were gonna get it out. <laughs> got both vehicles driving which is the right thing to do but the amount of wheel spin going on here they're just tearing at the terrain that's just damaging the environment it's okay it's a bit of fun on an off-road park which is dedicated to this sort of stuff but there's no way you want to be doing this out in the real world out in the environment oh what a feeling i'm glad they're Toyota tough they, otherwise they would have busted cvs and quite a few other things you can see how dry the suction in that mud is is just immense it's a huge amount of force they should not have been recovering like that we gave her a clean and uh, then it was time to head back home so good that they're having fun nice little introduction to four-wheel driving great to go to a park nice controlled environment i wish they had got a little bit more professional instruction would have made probably less dramatic but i reckon i could have had just as much fun doing a few other things there were some rocks there there were some nice obstacles they could have had a crack at but it's a start. Guys, do me a favor, don't ever do recoveries like this guy. You can watch my channel and learn for yourselves. But great that full driving is growing around the world. Great to see people having a crack and great to go to the home of Toyota in Japan and drive whatever that thing is across between a 60 and 100. Awesome stuff. We'll see you next time, guys.